For parents who've had a premature baby, what happens is all vital signs of that baby need to be monitored continuously. And the way that happens currently is with a rat's nest collection of wires and adhesive tapes that bond sensors to the surface of the skin. And they not only tether a baby to that bed, but it makes it harder for healthcare personnel to get to the baby. It makes it harder for us to be doing imaging studies. Very importantly, it makes it that much harder for parents because it's a physical barrier between the baby and the parents. This is Grace Rains Taylor. Her name literally means she reigns her father. So it's Grace Rains Taylor. <laughs> Trying to feed her, change her, hold her with the wires was a little contained because we have like a three foot, you know, radius to be with her. If she didn't have the wires on her, maybe we can go for a walk around the area. Maybe we could probably spend a night upstairs together. You know, it would just make the entire experience more enjoyable and more bonding with her. Our goal here with these skin-like battery-free wireless devices is to make the wires go away, make the strong adhesives go away, and enable the parents to interact more naturally, more frequently uh, with their baby. The, the study involved taking these kinds of devices, uh, implementing the um, antenna systems and the data recording hardware that go along with these devices, and deploy them in a real operating NICU. Anybody who's had the experience of entering a neonatal intensive care unit, aside from being intimidated, immediately notices how tiny the babies are and how many wires and electrodes are attached to them. The opportunity to go wireless has enormous potential for decreasing the burden for the babies themselves, for the nurses, and for the parents when handling them. To see the gyrations that nurses and parents have to go through just to take the baby out of the crib, it's just very, very cumbersome. And, and to be able to have something that's where the baby is totally unencumbered is less prone to problems. In this age where we know that skin-to-skin -skin contact is so important, and especially for these very young premature babies where it's been shown to decrease the risk of pulmonary complications, of liver issues and of infections, skin-to-skin -skin contact is really where it's at right now. That was kind of the clinical part of this paper, but probably two-thirds of the paper is just all about the engineering science of how you build something like this in the first place. I don't think there's ever been a device that's this thin, this soft, this functional in this form factor before. So I think we're breaking new ground at multiple uh, aspects of the underlying engineering science that enables these devices. So what we're doing now is on the chest of a baby, but it can also be put on the back. We've got this wireless device that within it can capture temperature, can capture the electrocardiogram, can capture the respiratory rate and serves also to be able to capture blood pressure. We've got another one that just wraps around the foot for good contact and there we can capture the oxygenation for that baby. The goal was to show that these devices could operate in a completely non-invasive way simultaneously on babies that were being monitored in the conventional manner so that we have two separate streams of data, conventional data and data coming off of these new skin-like devices so we can do a precise quantitative comparison. This type of sensor technology allows us to send somebody home and be able to monitor on a continuing basis how these patients are doing. <laughs>